original one i really like oh, all the more than one yeah i think they ended up doing like a little like aerial too i don't think it's as good but you know holly bailey is gonna be the, the, the aerial Mom. people are so pissed are you gonna make me they mad they mad this is so crazy that they mad like it's a cartoon character like i don't know i don't know what i don't know why i'm at but they was like, they, they like, we gave you Tiana, and now you're taking it too far right. with Ariel. I really like all the princess movies. I'm so excited to go to Disney. Okay, maybe I'm going to go do me a little princess. Right, princess, princess. Outfit, girl. They all have really good storylines. Even we watch them. The boys, the boys have watched all of them, too. They like them. They like Elsa. They like the brave, you know, the girl with the red hair, the tangled. Like Rapunzel. And, and, and Mama. And Mama, you yeah. know, we like Flash, so I'm Flash. I have yeah. a Flash costume. We like the boring stuff, too. I but don't be acting like that. I'll be singing, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. She had all the bitches. She like had three. Yeah, blue and a and another yeah. I don't know who they go to. Yeah, Elsa, Anna. They had a um, big phase where that's what they want to watch, that. like, every day. Mommy, let's. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Eat your, put yourself back in. Mom, tomorrow can I can I pick my face and make my hair short like um like Barry Allen the Flash? I see. I'll do it at my. Well, I'm not gonna cut your hair, but you can put your costume on. You want and some, I can do my face. Egg, you want some more eggs and potatoes? Uh-huh, and I need more my tea. See, I put it in the fridge. What? <laughs> Are you not supposed to? Generational trauma. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hello. Mama, can you eat that gold? This is good. Do you want me to warm it up? Warm it up? Do you want me to warm it up? In, in yes, the sir. microwave. Okay. Okay. Good morning again. It was a little chaotic when we first started. Anyways, the dining room table is on its way. It should be here in like a few minutes. Um, we got the. I ended up getting a dining room table from IKEA. I think I told you guys that. So today we're gonna get it. Fingers crossed, it's gonna work. The only thing that I think that might not work is the chairs. But chairs more easily replaceable than the whole table for sure. I like the table. 
Um, and then we also got in the fire pit for the patio. So today we're just gonna be doing a lot of stuff around the house. Um, I also wanna go to Target. I have decided that I'm going to, the birds are so loud. We're gonna start like doing exercises at home because I went to the gym the other day to get a membership and I just had like a ton of anxiety. So I was like, okay, no. We're just, we're just gonna try it at home for a little while on the patio, get a yoga mat, some weights. I saw this really cute stuff that Target has. So we're gonna go there later. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the agenda. We're just picking up basically where we left off. I'm gonna show you guys what the patio looks like with the TV mounted. And I finished spray painting the slide white. I also got um, some outside games like Jenga, um, beanbag toss, all that. Sunlight in here in the mornings is like all over the place, but okay yeah so uh our key is coming with the table i got these little crocs from amazon that i'm super excited about because i want to get like halloween charms and decorate them with the kids as one of our fall activities i've been like collecting stuff for october all september so we have like pumpkins to paint um just like different like little activities to do i'm gonna like plan out october it's gonna be all fall vlogs okay all fall vlogs in October. <laughs> and I got some black bean bags, you know, match the aesthetic, y'all know, matchy matchy over here. Um, and then I got Jenga, which it's in the garage. I don't know if it's as big as I want it to be, but we're gonna open that up, um, put the fire pit out there, get the table done today. Yeah, and go to Target like I told you guys. I am officially obsessed with these. I had to order more of these yesterday. Um, the Clean Skin Club towelettes, love them. And then I also got more of the exfoliating pads from Amazon as well. Um, what else do we need to do today? We gotta get out the house today when we go to Target and take my glasses back from Warby Parker. Let me show you guys the ones I decided on because I told y'all I was going to. Dang, I don't know where the box is. Oh, here it is. I told y'all I was gonna order some glasses from Warby Parker and so I had already tried them on and I need to go ahead and return them. These are the ones I decided on. They look like this. Pew, pew, pew. Y'all can't really see them that well, but these were cute. I thought because of the neutral color, they'd be cool for every day. And Warby is the sponsor of today's video, so. Thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in-store. Warby is super affordable with glasses starting at only $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, and progressives. Something really cool that Warby offers is their free at-home try-on kit. So basically what you do is you'll go onto Warby Parker's website and you can take a quiz and Warby will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. You order five pairs of glasses and then try them for five days. There's no obligation to buy, it ships free, and includes a prepaid return label, and you can try taking the quiz today to find a pair that is perfect for you. When I'm looking for glasses, what's really important to me is color and shape, so I always like to stay within the neutral tone so that it matches the outfits that I normally wear. Through my quiz, these are the glasses that I was recommended. If you're interested in trying Warby Parker's free home try-on program, order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy, ships free, includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at Warby Parker backslash McKay. Thank you again to Warby for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, we're gonna return those today. And then I was thinking the people, they said they were gonna be here in 15 minutes at 9.07, so they should be here soon. I'm sitting here waiting for them to show up because I don't want to go. I wanted to start setting up the patio, but I'm like, I don't want to go outside because it's hard to hear the front door from the patio. And I'm like, I don't know if they're going to call and I don't want to miss them. And he said 15 minutes, but it's been longer than 15 minutes. <sighs> Should I call or am I being impatient? Let's just call and see where they're at. I also today want to start implementing some new habits and things like that so that's kind of why I was like telling you guys a little bit about the gym stuff and going to Target we'll probably do that later once the kids go to practice and like set it up but I want to start getting outside within the first hour that I wake up I want to start back waking up early I haven't been waking up early and every time I don't wake up before the kids I regret it because 
it just starts the morning off so much more chaotic when they wake up before me and I don't like the way they wake me up because you know my youngest he'd be like come or not my youngest but Carson he'll be like good morning mommy and my oldest he's out of that whole phase so he's like he'll come and like like the other day he like rubbed me on my head really hard and was like hey can I watch tv and I was like if you're a mom, you know, getting woken up out of your sleep, not enjoyable. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start getting back to beating them awake. And it's just like, I just like waking up early anyways. It just starts out the day more productive. We all know that. It's just, are we going to do it? Yes or no? Yes. We're going to get back on track. So I'm going to go get some like yoga mat, weights and stuff to work out in the morning out on the patio. Probably do like Chloe Ting exercises. Um, I know like walking with Joe is super popular. I think some of you guys have recommended that to me before. So yeah. And then... I was gonna like go on walks with the kids but like it's starting to stay darker later so the sun doesn't even come up until like seven and that's just not early enough for me to start my day so we might still do walks some days but you know anyways so yeah I also want to start drinking more water which I've been in a really bad habit of doing lately so I'm basically gonna start backtracking my progress and stuff on my calendar and in my journal of how many glasses of water I drank that I work out and just kind of like see what my progress is I'm gonna start this month and then track myself starting in October um, just to see how I do it was so nice yesterday all we did was sit out on the patio you guys um, and the boys watched football last night on the patio so it's definitely a little vibe I'm excited to get the fire pit up um, and out there <coughs> oh let's talk about the skin look okay if you guys saw last week it's like so much better than it was um <clears throat> and i got some new stuff from sephora <clears throat> which i don't remember if i told you guys or not but i got like the doctor's <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> i feel like i'm losing my voice hold on my throat's all scratchy <clears throat> if my voice goes out that would be awful but anyways, I got the Dr. Dennis Gross peel thingies, and I've been using those every day. And after I got out of, like, the purging phase, because I know I told you guys, I did tell you guys, it was, like, making my face, like, purge a little bit. I got, like, three little bumps, and then after that, like, it's made my face so much better. I've also been using my custom mix for my dermatologist. But I'm going to do my skincare with y'all tonight so y'all can see, like, everything that I've been using. Because um, I've switched out a couple of things. So yeah we gonna get back we gonna get back there those vitamins i told you guys about also came in the mail from amazon and it looks like it's the same um like formula because i was telling you guys like i don't know i haven't ordered it in like two years but it looks like it's the same so i'll share that with you guys tonight as well um when we're getting ready for bed because tonight is my night without the boys the boys go to football practice on tuesdays and thursdays so i always just you know do whatever do whatever i want to do i'm thinking about going to the movies but i don't know yet Yeah, like it, like then you take this off. Look. What's, what's underneath there? 
foam. Oh, that is different. Oh, it's clear plastic. Wow, it's a plastic can. Oh, look at that, you're squirreling it up. Yeah. Oh, it looks, it looks simple. I'm kind of disappointed that this is the kind of cheese. Oh, the wood is looks bad, though. Anybody has a cool wood, though. This is it. I like the wood, though. What was a good match? Look at this, y'all. This is like, <laughs> what is that? Ikea is wrong for that. <laughs> I love it a lot. Yeah, I was going to get some wood chips. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We got two chairs and one, but it was, it didn't work that way. It was good for us, I guess. One done. Right. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, though. It wasn't. They're not really white. They no, white. I was like that too. They're not that thick. Off white. Yeah. Steam them out. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest together and then I'm gonna come back to it. Okay, it is approximately 2 30 in the afternoon. <laughs> My lips are so trapped. I'm about to make myself like a medicine ball because I don't feel good, but the table is done. We finished it. My lips look white. They're so trapped because I'm dehydrated, but I've been drinking water, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It, it hasn't settled with me yet, but I don't hate it. Let me move the instructions. I need to like steam the covers for the chairs, you know? And I almost think that like, if I got some extra chairs, I would like it even better if there was like one on the end, maybe? I don't know. Y'all know I'm like so indecisive, but please nobody comment and say that they don't like it because this is staying in the house. I do not care. <laughs> Even if I have to like eventually uh, replace the chairs with maybe something else, then I'll do that. Um, I'm not opposed to that. So yeah, let me back up. We still have trash everywhere, but the cushions are not exactly white. Um, but this is what it looks like from the living room view. So yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. It's giving me very much farmhouse vibes, which is my, I'm like a farmhouse modern. That's the style that I kind of like. I feel like the table fits. Again, don't know about the chairs, but listen, it, it is what it is right now, okay? <laughs> the thing that I, I, I really like the table. So if you guys are like wanting to get a wood table that's inexpensive, because I literally looked at so many table options and like they were either the ones that I really liked besides this one, like I couldn't get into like March of next year off of C2. Um, and then there was this one white one that I wanted, but I was like, it's just going to be too much white if I get a white table. So, anyway. Um, I like the table. The table is like super heavy. It's very sturdy. It's good quality. The chairs, they could keep the chairs. The chairs are like, mm, it's not giving. Um. I don't know, maybe when I steam them out, I'll like it a little bit better. If not, the chairs will probably be something that I end up replacing, but not now. <laughs> not now. If I decide to like double back to the dining room, then I will. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is. I'm going to make the table too with like the plates and stuff that I got from Crate and Barrel, if y'all saw that vlog. And like, you know, dress it up a little bit and see. See, see what the vibe is afterwards. So that's it for now. Like I said, my lips are dry and my throat is hurting, so let's get the tea bon tea. So this is how you make a medicine ball from Starbucks at home. Kyra put me on to this. Um, I saw it in one of her blogs or Instagram, but it's the Jade Citrus Mint and the Peach Tranquility. But yeah, I've been having a sore throat for the last like two days. And today it feels worse. So I'm about to have a cup of tea. I have one of those cute aesthetic tea water pot things that you know you, you know, pour to, what is that? What are those called? Teapot? Are they called teapots? <laughs> electric, I have an electric teapot. But I haven't, I think it's up there in one of the cabinets. I just don't like appliances like out on the counter. I just feel like it clutters the space so much. So that's why they're not over here, but 
Ooh. I need a little teaspoon. That would be cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna let this sit. The fire pit came, which I'm pretty sure. Um, Y'all saw me putting the fire pit together and the Jenga. I'm looking for my phone because those other things are supposed to come today. So we can kind of like wrap up the patio. Like I said, I wanted to like kind of like slow down and go space by space. So the patio was something that I wanted to get done soon because I know that that's where we spend a lot of our time at right now. That's where the boys are all at right now, except for Carson, he's taking a nap. Um, and then for the fire pit, I think I'll go out there and show you guys in a minute because I'm going to finish setting everything up because I think all that stuff from Amazon is supposed to come today. Um, but... Dang. Okay, yeah, so they're both arriving. They're still on the way. Pat needs to pull down a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so... On the fire pit, if you guys saw, it's kind of like open. And so I think it can double as a coffee table and a fire pit. Like, but we're not using it for a fire pit. We can put a little cover over it. So I think I'm going to like take the measurements up to Home Depot and see if they can like cut me a piece of wood. And then I can just slide the piece of wood over the top. And I think it'll bring in the other little like the accent tables. If you guys saw that um, vlog when I got those last week, that it'll kind of like, you know, tie it all in, break up the black and white a little bit. And I think it'll flow better from the inside to the outside because the inside is very light and bright and then we have like the black out there so that's my plan for that the patio is pretty much done we got games the tv's up all that good stuff and then like i said i'll take y'all out there and we'll see what it's looking like all together tonight the boys are just out there watching tv eating some chips with their dad I burned my tongue a little bit. Um, but okay. We made homemade pizzas last night, you guys. Erin's mom had put one in the oven before she left earlier, but we had some leftovers, and it was so freaking good. Like, it made me not want to, like, order pizza anymore. Like, you could just make it at home. I got all the stuff from Tom Thumb. It was super easy. Um... And it didn't take long at all, and it was it was cool. So we all put our own type of toppings on there and stuff. <sighs> I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I'm staring at this laundry that's, you know, we get our laundry service, and it's folded sitting over here. And I didn't put it away on Sunday. So it's just been sitting there looking at me like, girl, put me away. But I just ain't been feeling like it. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Target now or go to Target later because I did want to get some stuff for the bar cart outside, but I don't know. We can maybe do that another day too. What did I say I want to go to Target for? Oh, my gym stuff. I want to be able to start working out like tomorrow in the morning. So I was going to go get that little stuff from Target. Um, they have like these like, it's like gold. It's giving cute. It's like a little aesthetic workout um, stuff. So yeah. What should we do first? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling lazy because I don't really feel that great. It took everything in me to push to that table. Me and Aaron's mom were doing it. One of the chairs is like all wonky. And so it took me like an extra hour to do that one chair. And then me and Aaron's mom did half the table and then she left and then Aaron came down and he helped me with um, putting the rest of the pieces together and like flipping the table over. I thought today was going to be much more exciting and interesting, but I feel like I'm killing a vibe with this sour throat I got going on. I don't feel good. But we're going to push through because we have a fun weekend planned this weekend. So hold on. Let me clear some memory really fast. We have a fun weekend planned ahead of us because the Texas State Fair opens up on Friday this year. So... I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. I was really like dead set on going like just as you know me and dad to the fair because I have never been to the Texas State Fair except for with my kids or when I was pregnant and I've lived here my whole life. And I feel like maybe when I was younger, younger, like I did go one time like in middle school or high school, but I can't remember it basically. And I couldn't drink 
or do anything, you know, super exciting or fun or whatever. So I want to go to the fair. And I want to go like without the kids because it's just something that I want to enjoy. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to like go and like every year that we, we go and we take them, it's just, you know, we do all the kid rides, you know, it's, it's their thing. I really want to get in there. I want to play some games. Like I really want to like just move around. And then their great grandma lives in Tyler and they're having their like city fair right now too. And they're having like this carnival thing. It's like a, they're having like two big things going on basically down there at the same time. On Saturday morning after Carter's football game, um, Aaron's mom and I were gonna drive down to Tyler so we could still take the boys, you know, to the fair. Cause I'm not gonna just not take them cause I don't want them to go with me, but I just wanted that one time where I can go, you know, and, and, and have me a good old grand time, okay? <laughs> so that's what we have planned or in store for this, this weekend, which I'm really excited about. You guys will see those vlog, that vlog, maybe next, next week. I think I'm gonna do daily vlogs. I've come to the conclusion that I feel that's just easier for me um, than doing weekly vlogs. I can take a day, film, hang out with y'all, and then come back the next day, sit down, edit it, and then, you know, start the process over again. So I just kind of enjoy that. So I think that just works a little bit easier for now. It could change tomorrow. I'm very indecisive. <sighs> but I think I'm just going to go outside right now and play Jenga with Carter. See if he gets the concept. Because I really do not feel like putting on those clothes. I know I need to do it, but I just do not feel like it. I'm going to do it today, though. It was on my list to get it done today, so I'm going to definitely do it today. I had a couple other things that I feel like I had on my list that I need to, like... I have to start preparing my taxes, so I'm trying to go through all of that. Naked baby! Naked baby! Hey! All right, come on. I'm going to show you. It's not about building. It's about not knocking it down. You're not supposed to knock it down. Okay? So, you can pick one piece at a time. So, I'm going to pick this piece. And then you slide it like that. Yeah. One piece at a time. There you go. Careful, so it's going to fall. You got to pull it out softly. No, you can't use this hand. You can't use this hand. Yeah, that's a good job, but next time you can't use the other hand, okay? That's the way I have to put them back up. Yeah, we gotta stack it like this. You gotta put it the way I put it. You gotta be careful. Okay? Alright. Now? It's my turn. Yes, yeah, it's now it's your turn. Yeah, you can come over here to the side and pull it up. Good job! We're going to Home Depot. I put sand in the bottom of the fire pit, and now we're going to go get wood and the rest of the stuff we need. Oh, I should have brought this measurement. Our tent. We're gonna go. We're gonna get a tent. He keeps telling me I need to get his tent because I said, "Oh, we go camping in the backyard," I and we're gonna do that. Tent. Just not this week. I next need week. My tent. Not next week, but in the month of October, we're gonna do it. I need my tent. I'm gonna get it off at of Amazon. But we're gonna go to Home Depot. I wanna find like a wood piece or see if they can cut it. I could probably look up the I measurements on Crate and Barrel. It might stay. But yeah, we're gonna go to the Home Depot. <laughs> Well, I can't wait for Christmas. I said a piece of wood we can put over when we're not using it as a fire pit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh my gosh, look at how big these pumpkins are. You're kidding me. I want one. Can we please get a giant pumpkin? Try to pick it up. Try to pick it up. Can you, can you carry it? So I guess we can decorate our house. Mommy, look. What? There's a monster. I've never seen a pumpkin that big ever. Is it heavy? Huh? Holy shit. I want this one right here. But I'm going to do a drive up so that they can come put it in the car. We don't got to take it in the car. I've never seen a pumpkin that big. Oh my god. We're going to go look and see if there's some firewood up. 
You said we could decorate the house? Hey, I definitely have to hear. I want one of these trees. I want an olive tree. Huh? Ready? Boom. Boom, boom. Is this, are they, is this what they are? There's the plants out here. We need to get some lemongrass. Whoa. You want to pick a plant? Don't you want a garden? We can't leave that. Why not? Let's go back over there. I am. I wanted to look over here and see what was over here. I think I found some wood. I think I found some. We're going to get this to go over the fire pit. And fingers crossed it's long enough. We looked at all these different ones. We were gonna get this dark one. But then I was like, I don't think it's gonna match. So, this is what we got. I want chicken tenders. If I'm gonna split it with the kid, that's fine. Yeah, you get four, I get three. And I want regular, not spicy. Okay. Cool. At Chicken Express, we're gonna get some chicken. Okay, we're back from Home Depot. And this is the piece of wood that we got. It fits perfectly on here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this color, but what we're about to do is put the tic-tac-toe on here because what I'm thinking is this side can be the game side. Okay. They're playing swords. They're about to leave for football practice. Three hours of peace and quiet. <laughs> but anyways, this is going to be the game side. So I was originally going to hang this up because it's a magnetic tic-tac-toe, which I'll show you on in a second. But you basically can stick it on the wall. But I'm going to stick it on here. And then we could just flip it back and forth. You know, if I just wanted to be playing, if we want to play games, we have tic-tac-toe. And we can play like Mancala, checkers, whatever on the other side. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then the boards came for the beanbag toss, so I'm gonna open those up too. Just has these little stickers on it. And it's magnet, like the pieces are magnetic. I like playing tic tac toe. Fun. I wanna get a whole bunch of games. We don't have any board games. I want Scrabble. I want all the things. All the games we used to play when we were kids. Family game nights out here. We ended up dead finding wood at Home Depot, so I'm gonna bring put that in here. We probably need to, we need to, we didn't get like lighter fluid or anything. I don't even know why we went to get firewood to be honest, because we can't light a fire. It's way too hot in Texas. But maybe like in a couple weeks at night it'll be cold enough. Stop! Give him his sword back. And if you hit him hard again, I'm gonna let him get his leg back. All right, let's make sure it's straight. Also, after I take these braids out, which, look, my edges are going back. Do y'all see that though? Like, I mean, I know it still looks bad that like it's missing right there, but it's like way thicker. You know what I'm saying? Like. We, we make it progress. I'll be using Jamaica Black Castor Oil, um, the Virgin Hair Fertilizer. I can't say exactly what it is. I've just been using a mix of different things on different days. What I was saying is, after I take these braids out, I'm gonna get me a, a bust down wig. That's what I've decided on. So I can just keep my hair braided up and growing and healthy because, yeah, that's what I wanna do. And I've just gotta, I'm either gonna, I'm probably gonna get a closure though because I don't want, um, I don't have to maintain the lace. Like I know if I try to keep it for a while, I'm gonna probably have to go get touch-ups and stuff because I'm really bad with like keeping wigs. But and I know like wigs is out right now. Like that's not what people are doing anymore. But I don't care. That's what I'm gonna do because I want to grow my hair. Like it's more than just like having it look cute to me. I actually want to grow my hair. 
and I'm not about to have my leave out looking crazy. Boom. I'm a little confused. How many pieces for tic tac toe are you supposed to have? You know what I'm saying? I guess it's got some extra pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Bro. What's up, Judah? They're leaving Judah today. They're not taking the pictures. They say he's been crying a lot lately on the way home. Probably because you've been sleepy. Are you sleepy, Judah Wuda? Are you sleepy, Judah Wuda? No girl time today. Understand now why people like build things on their own because it's literally so much cheaper. This piece of wood was like thirty dollars. If I would have tried to buy something offline, it would have probably been like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Ghetto. The ghetto. It looks so cute. I need to get like an outside trash can. So we have one extra circle piece, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Because you don't usually have pieces when you play tic tac toe. You usually have. You know, like, you write, you write it, giant. Anyways, okay. That's cool. Fire pit turned also slash coffee table. What shoot that we were talking about? We got cornhole. That's what it's called. Cornhole. I hate it. When Amazon puts a box inside of a box. What's the matter? Also, if you're in the market for a TV, I would highly recommend getting a Fire Stick TV or a Fire TV. You can like tell Alexa, hey, play blah, blah, blah. That's so cool. That's so cool. And if you connect to your Amazon, it'll tell you like on the TV if like you have a package that shows up or something. Tech savvy for me. Okay, let's open up this cornhole. Cornhole, that sounds really that sounds interesting. We're just gonna call it beanbag toss. Let's open up the beanbag toss. And then we can go take a bath. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? I do not like bugs. It doesn't look like a weird bug. It was like looking me in my face. Flying. Ooh. Here it doesn't. Go oh, see. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. This is pretty much what we're gonna be looking like. This is what the fire pit looks like without the top on it. So without the top, it's cute. So we got a fire pit. Ooh, it's a fly, see? The TV up there. I feel like something needs to go under the TV, but everybody keeps telling me it's extra, you're being extra, it's a patio, not a living room. But like, okay. That's pretty much it. We got the Jenga over there. We're gonna put, probably get like a dart board or something somewhere to play darts. We all really like to play darts. Um. You take a bath, you drooling on yourself. Hey. Hey, you trying to eat my phone, dirty boy. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna, since the baby is here and not at practice, I'm just gonna place a Target drive-up order for the, um, like, workout stuff that I want to get because I still want to, like, work out in the morning and I'll rather go get a drive-up or have Aaron get it on the way home from practice than um, try to get out with him because... It's sundown in time. Yeah. What do we think? And then the bar cart is over here. That's going to be a whole other project for another day. I think I want to take a trip to Crate and Barrel and CB2 to find some things to go on there. But yeah, it's coming together. It's pretty much done out here. And that mosquitoes are coming out. So let's ooh, get in the house. Get away from the mosquito. Time. Are you pouting? He has the biggest attitude in a baby you've ever seen in your whole life. Oh, ah, he be throwing fits. Oh, how do you know how to throw a fit? 
Chunky, look at him, Pillsbury Dough Boy. You just chunk him, chunk a monkey. You my girl, who's you talking to? You see yourself? <laughs> so, so far we've got dining room table. The living room's not all put together, but y'all see that kitchen. Woo! And that's like the kitchen was clean this morning when we started the day, okay? That's just what the disaster of the day has brought. So I'm gonna come back down here once he goes to sleep, go take a bath with him. I'm gonna still like get ready with you guys. I wanna do my skincare with y'all tonight. And then we're gonna come down here, clean up. I wanna like put all of the stuff out on the table. I did only get like a set of four or like dining set for four people, but I wanna still see what the table would look like. So we're gonna try to set the table and do a whole bunch of that because it's time for you to go to bed, but the night is still young. It's only like five o'clock, so. Whew. You see how he be mugging? Did y'all see that? Yeah, you just be rude. Where's my sweet baby? Where's my sweet baby? Huh? Got you. Get ready for no more time. Going to sleep. Good night. You say good night. He's gonna get hangry, so I'm about to lay down with him and snuggle since it's just me and him for a little bit. I'm gonna take advantage of our alone time. Yeah, and just feed him, let him fall asleep on me probably, and then I'll put him in his bassinet. And come back and talk to y'all. I'm also gonna place my Target drive-up order while I'm sitting down with him, and I'm probably gonna put on hands made tail and just chill for an hour because I know that if I want to clean the house and get everything done, I'm gonna be up late anyways. So might as well just take a little break right now. I gotta get back up when the kids get home anyways to cook them dinner because we ate Chicken Express when we went to Home Depot, and that was at four. They get home for practice at eight, so I told them I would make them some pasta. So let's get you to bed, Fluff Fluff. Yeah, squish, squish. Mwah. Say good night. Mwah. Judas is asleep now. I ended up just getting a yoga mat from Target and I'm just going to start with the yoga mat because all of the stuff that I was seeing in the store I didn't see online to like drive up so we're probably going to have to go to Target on another day and get some more exercise stuff. Let's get into this skin care It hasn't really changed too, too much but a couple of things I've switched out. Um, so first... I'm not going to use this tonight because I already used it on Sunday, but I've been using this mask and I like it. It's the vitamin C clay mask from Gleam. I don't know. Y'all know I can't pronounce anything, but I've been using it and I really like it. Um, I use it like once a week, so on Sundays after I like dermaplane my face at home with um, y'all know these little eyebrow razors. I've been trying to like keep up with my eyebrows at home because <clears throat> I don't the concept of getting your eyebrows waxed is cool, but like actually waiting for the hair to grow out, I just am over it. So, um, I've been like just trying to like keep them maintained with these little razors. And I didn't play into my face last night, but anyways, like, I need to wash my hands before I go. So I've been using the La Roger. Um, it's always really good to like switch up your cleansers with the seasons like as it starts getting more cold and dry outside You want to use something more moisturizing um, Cause it's not the same as you know uh, Summertime so I'm going going in with this it feels so good. I love washing my face with the end of the night. One thing about me I'm gonna wash my And then I'm gonna go in with the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Um, I love this stuff you guys If, if you're looking for a like, physical exfoliating product don't buy like a scrub buy this instead it lasts a long time i don't remember how expensive it is but it does last a long time and you just it's like a powder basically and you can kind of it, control the amount of exfoliation that you're getting you know because you can use more or less or less water um but i just mix mine in with my 
face wash and I like to get a good deep scrub because exfoliating every day is not good for everybody's skin but what I noticed is it really just helps to like remove that dead skin every day and keeps my pores from getting like stopped up so I like to do it every day that's just me um, and then also something my esthetician told me, if you really want to get in like a deep exfoliation, I'll do it once a week. It's I'll use exfoliating gloves, not ones that I use in the shower with shower products, but a fresh pair with this and do like a deep exfoliation on my face. Okay. And then, like y'all saw this morning, I got some more of these um, towelettes because I mean, this is like my last, I have one more after this. But I really, really like these. They're like super nice on the skin and gen gentle and then obviously using a new one every single day so you're not getting like all that bacteria and stuff from your um, body towels on your space i have a little fan that i've been using for my skincare but it's downstairs i should probably go get it because i haven't used it in like two days but okay this is what the little fan looks like and it comes in really handy for my skincare at the moment because I've been using the Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating daily exfoliating peel I guess whatever and I think I told you guys in the last vlog like I started using it and it had like you know made my skin purge a little bit which is normal when you're using like new skincare products but after that I still just like kept using it because I told y'all like I liked the way that it was making my skin feel it just so happened that like my face you know like broke out a little bit i kept going with it and like it started to like clear up and i feel like it's improving like the texture of my face so i'm gonna finish out the pads that i got which i think i got like a i don't know i want to say it's like a little bit more than 30 pack box because they are expensive so i want to finish it out and you know see what happens but you basically use the first one you're supposed to let it sit for two minutes but i don't have time for that so i just like fan my face until it's dry and then i go in with the second one my lips are literally so dehydrated you guys but look what i got it's so cute did it just die my fan just died anyways y'all look at this cute little water carafe i got it's so pretty. I got it off of Amazon. I've been seeing it on TikTok. I'm not gonna lie. And I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm gonna get it. So I finally bought it. It's so pretty. It comes with two of these glasses. And I just leave it in here because I'm like, sometimes I'll forget to bring a water bottle upstairs. And I need to take my vitamins. So I just leave it in here. I need to charge my fan. Apparently. But then I'm just gonna go with the second one. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm still gonna probably have to get like a chemical peel just because like I don't know. I have like some deep, deep set in scars that are kind of like you know been there for a while, like on my chin and stuff like that. And like this one right here on my forehead, it just it's not really budging. But we're going to try this first and see what we're looking like. Because if I get a chemical peel, it has to be before I get my eyebrows re-microbladed. Because you're not supposed to use like exfoliants and stuff like that whenever you like get your eyebrows microbladed. Because it can like take the pigment away from your eyebrows. And I did get a chemical peel after I got my eyebrows microbladed last time. And they did fine. But just to be on the safe side, I'd rather get the peel before. So that's kind of what I'm trying to like see and i think i'm scheduled to get my eyebrows done i want to say like mid october or late october so i'm just gonna let it dry really fast and then i'm gonna go in with my um skincare product that i got from my dermatologist so let me see it's in the fridge you have to keep it in the fridge so i gotta go get it out of the mini fridge room. this is what it looks like it comes in like a jar um if you guys live in the Dallas area, the dermatologist that I went to to get this prescription, it's like the Dr. Blackburn office. Um, and then his daughter is the one who took over and she, her name is like Dr. Woolfolk. But 
Yeah, it's basically like a glycolic acid mixture with some other stuff. I don't know specifically what's in it because it's a custom formula, so they don't like put exactly what's in it. But she just told me like it's a glycolic acid um, mixed with some other things that just help with fading dark marks and like kind of like retinol with like helping with the skin cell turnover to help shed the dead skin. I need some aqua for for my lips immediately. This is what I need. Some of this on first. It's the Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy Mask by the brand. Is it fresh? I'm gonna put that on first, and then I'm gonna go on top of that with Aquaphor. All right. So the last step, I kind of like switch it up every night, but where is it? Kiehl's. It works really well, so I've been using this at nighttime, and um, some nights I mix it with the Snail Mucin um, All-in-One Cream. And I just do like a little bit of both in my hand because you're not supposed to use like a ton, so I just do like, it's like recommended, like I think like a pea size amount. And then I just mix it in and moisturize my skin and take it down the neck. I also like this, um, <coughs> my voice is going out, you guys. Oh my gosh. This Nexium by Necessaire. I've been using it. I don't know if it's a lot more thinner. I basically will moisturize my face and then I'll alternate. So some nights I'll do like Aquaphor on my face to like seal everything in. That's basically called like slugging, which I like doing. I feel like it's really helped with my skin because it just helps like protect your skin barrier while you're sleeping. On other nights, when I'm like trying to like heal any spots that I have, I've been using the La Roche from B5, which just really helps with healing. So I'll apply it like, you guys can see where like, these like little spots right here are kind of recovering. And just like dab a little bit on there. You can like rub it all over your face, but it really just helps with like redness and it's a healing ointment. Like you can use it on babies too. Like you can use it for like diaper rash. It's like a skin protectant. Um, and it helps really chafe, chapped, or cracked skin or protect your skin from the coldness and diaper rash. That's what it says. So it works really well for redness. So in the little areas that are healing, I'll just like dab a little bit in there. All right, now time for the once was the holy grail product that saved my skin and my hair. This is what it is. It is Ultra Biotin. That's what it is. I'll link it for y'all. So you can get it from Amazon if you want to. It's inexpensive. I want to say it's like 10 bucks. And liquid vitamins are already off rip better for you um, than like capsules because they're just more easily digestible and your body doesn't have to like break down the capsule. And like something about by the time the capsule is broken down, you're only getting like 50% of the nutrients or something. And with the liquid vitamin, you're getting more than that. I don't know how I actually got onto this or started using it or if I just like found it on Amazon. But you want to like shake it up because it does separate like the vitamins and the liquids a little bit um, and it tastes good it's not nasty it's like a mixed berry flavor and what i like to do is you can put it in your drink but nobody has time for that put it under your tongue like this and just kind of like let it absorb that's also supposed to help with um better like nutrient retention if you like let it absorb underneath your tongue don't quote me. This is just what I like. <laughs> I'm also going to take my nightly vitamins. I feel like I always get questions about my vitamins, but I feel like I tell y'all all the time. I never change this. Like, except for I did add um, Geritol to my vitamins because um, I saw this girl on TikTok saying, oh, I must have like, it's Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> saying that it's just a good like multivitamin to have and it helps to grow your hair and it helps with like, you know, like deficiencies that you have which prevents or slows the process of your hair growing so it's kind of like a filler vitamin and it's mostly for like old people but like anybody can take it because it's literally just a multivitamin so i have my um chlorofresh right here two of those and then i have that um <clears throat> the hum mighty night overnight renewal i don't really know if that's working i haven't been taking it that long i guess to notice a difference but um my evening primrose oil 
my seed probiotic and prebiotic and symbiotic okay don't play with seed um and then my geritol so other things that i take in the morning even though i feel like i've said this a thousand times my carrot vitamins which is like cranberry another probiotic a woman's multivitamin turmeric ashwagandha all that type of stuff i take in the morning or like at lunchtime after i eat another tip that i have for y'all um for taking pills um is if it sinks in your mouth tilt your head back if it floats tilt your head forward and then it's easier to swallow i don't know if anybody knew that but i just i think that's a cool little tip i learned that on pinterest one time usually the ones that float are like the ones that are in like a capsule like this is it gonna focus yeah that have like kind of like that thin film that you can like pull apart but things like this are more dense and they sink also the liquid biotin like it never broke my skin out that's something that i used to always like hate about biotins is that they would break my skin out so i was like i need something that's not gonna break my face out because i don't know why biotin breaks your skin out but sometimes it does that one does not i mean y'all saw the pictures if you watched my last vlog my skin popping hair long and that's what i was taking so fingers crossed because i'm just trying to get trying to get back fine okay okay let us i'm trying to decide if i should go to target because they have i showed y'all my belly since i but this is why I need to work out. Look at this. Boom. Anyways, we're going to pretend that didn't just happen. <laughs> uh, if I don't work out, I'm going to get lipo. So I need to just go exercise. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I just brushed my teeth. That was nasty. It's a lemonade. I need these pants to be tighter. I'm not going to be walking around with my fupa out. It's crazy though. Because they love the mom bod. They love the mom bod. So if you're ever feeling insecure about your mom bod, don't. It's like we get caught up in the Instagram hype of seeing like the BBLs and the skinny. But the niggas love. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, everybody has a preference. Not everybody probably likes it, but the ones I know do. <laughs> oh, I didn't take my Warby Parker box back. I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow. It was that damn table and chairs that took so long. But okay, let me just put y'all up really fast so we can knock this out. My ears itching. Who's talking about me? Who's talking about me? Do y'all believe in stuff like that? I don't know if I do, but my ear is itching. I didn't even show you guys because my camera battery got hot or whatever, but um, what I used in my hair tonight, I used the Whey Hair and Scalp Serum, and then I also went over it with some um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, okay? Don't you hate when you do all the dishes and then you forget that there's dishes over here on this side behind you? So now I always clean that side first. I'm like, you're not going to do it. I have a favor to ask okay you guys i need someone to tell me where i can buy dry dry ice from okay because like i was gonna put my diffuser in here to make it look like it's all smoky but my diffuser is too big to fit in here but i still want this to like look cute like you know for the kids and the vibe in october if you know where i can get dry ice from please let me know i cannot find it anywhere near me and on amazon they only have like this random thing that's like 150 dollars. i'm like i'm not buying it for dry ice is that how much dry ice costs anyways if you can tell me where i can get dry ice from I love you so much forever. Thank you. Quick lazy dinner 101. Can you tell them to come down here? I said please. I'm not gonna do it with you. Excuse you. pasta and then just for a quick veggie i'm trying to like make sure they eat veggies like literally like at least once a day because i'm not gonna lie i'm have been really bad for a while about like not they're not having like balanced meals like they eat good food but and they eat a lot of fruit but we really like them veggies um so 
I try to cook vegetables with each like dinner dinner I make, but if it's usually something like quick like that, then I won't make like a side of like fresh veggies. So I got these to steam in the microwave. So it's we're gonna do cheesy broccoli and rice. That's probably not the best side, but that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Coconut waters are so good, huh? I know. <laughs> His hair is getting so long. Look, I got it's you with this pull-up on looking like a big baby for me. Come here. Go, you gonna put some pants on? No, I have a diaper on. I know, I see you with your pull-up on. Hello. I, I'm going to have a slip on too. Yeah, did you have a good time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see your hair. Because oh, you took a shower, it's all wet now. His dreads are getting so long. He's in that like, come here. <laughs> That like, you know, when you first start dreads, it's like that awkward phase and sometimes they like stick up, but they're starting to like get longer. You're getting some hang time. I'm getting bigger. Yeah, your hair's getting long. You're supposed to go get a retwist soon. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Huh? What? I got a bit here. You got one? I am big. I am big, Mom. Yeah, you are big. Carson is swearing pull-ups at night night time but sometimes he has an accident so we've just been keeping him in pull-up so he'll stay dry and it won't wake him up and i also had to remember that like carter we didn't potty train him until he was like three and a half and carson potty trained well he is and he goes throughout the day like that's not an issue but he's just turned three and he started at two and a half so he's still kind of you know because with carter he never had like accidents through the night we never had to do like you know pull-ups really except for like that first week we were transitioning so with Carson, it's been a little bit of a different experience. This pasta looks so good. It's so good, you guys. Like, we usually eat this every week. <laughs> it's so good. You have to try this. They sell it at Walmart. I don't know anywhere else that carries it, but it's delish. The cam is not doing it justice at all. I wish I could see this for real. And it's so quick and easy. I just cleaned it. Put it on low and let it cook for a little bit longer. I know these veggies was in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that there's a Halloween Town 2? I gotta look the preview. I haven't even looked at the preview. Hocus Pocus. I'm talking about Halloween Town. Hocus Pocus is my favorite. I wanna watch the trailer. No. On the big TV? Huh? Okay. you watch this Hmm? This is what the- it's a new movie coming out. Turn it up a little bit. Get that car off my couch. Turn it up a little bit. Okay, that's good. I know it's not going to be as good as the original, but I'm so excited. And they do have the same characters. How did they do that? Should we sit at the dining room table and eat dinner? Yes! Yeah? We're going to do pasta, side of cheesy broccoli rice, and a Hawaiian roll. That's took, what, five minutes? Ten minutes? Huh? Yes! Carter, sit in the other chair. That one's a little bit wobbly. Sit in the Yeah. This is what we look like. Magically delicious. Look at us sitting at our dining room table. I'm gonna put this stuff on here so we can see what it is gonna look like. Okay, this was the little set that I got. The only thing, I know this is not correct, but I want a little silverware like knot, or like, I mean like a napkin knot to put on here. This is kind of what it looked like at Crate and Barrel. I'll insert the picture because that was actually like on the table with pumpkins and all of that. And I kind of like the setup I have now. Dismiss this orange little pumpkin over here. Um, and then the laundry, but. <laughs> I think it looks cute. The only other thing that I could think of if I replace the chairs is I'm going to get the same dining chairs as the bar stool chairs that I have that are the gold and clear because I feel like that's the only thing that's really just going to like flow cohesively in the space so if i do switch out the chairs that's what i'm gonna get right now this is what we have 
I don't need y'all being a bad influence on me. Okay. I'm trying to say my coin right now. I'm so glad we got a table too because I can actually sit down and eat dinner now. Not tonight, but. I think that's why I like eating in the car so much. Like, I always like eat my food in the car when I first get it because when I come home, I never sit down. I always eat standing up. It's a really bad habit that I have. My mom used to do it. Now I do it. And I literally don't sit down to eat. I like stand in front of the kids right here and I like eat, but I never sit down. Ever. <laughs> the first time I sat down at the bar stool and ate a meal was like last Sunday when I cooked like a really good meal and the kids were already asleep. That was good. Cheesy broccoli and rice. I'm gonna put the leftovers away. I'm gonna put the laundry away because I know if I don't do the laundry, why is it taking so long to get back and focus? There we go. I'm gonna put the laundry away. I'm gonna put these leftovers away. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. So good night. I love you guys. Sweet dreams. Okay.